Hello and welcome to this TIBCO Mastery introduction video. Today's subject is enabling OAuth for an API. We already have a working API defined, which has no additional security settings. Let's OAuth enable it. We'll select Acme OAuth. There is a default endpoint defined. If we go to security settings and enable OAuth, we can select the grant types we need. We can enable token TTL. Check the TTL value. Check the token type is bearer. And ensure the Mastery token API is enabled. And save the definition. We now add a token endpoint to the API. Give it a name and a path. And press create. Now we need to update the IO docs so we can interact with OAuth. We need to change the All section. This section contains the Authorize and Access token URIs. Note the path contains OAuth2 as we define on the token endpoint, and the app ID which can be seen in the browser URL. Save the changes. Let's navigate to the package definer and select the predefined Acme OAuth. Select the plan. Go to Plan Designer. Select the Acme OAuth API and check the endpoints. Save the definition. Let's go to the portal where we already have defined an application that uses the plan we updated. Select the OAuth app and we get the client and secret displayed. Click Get Access Token to retrieve the OAuth token. Now we can try to call an API. Expand product and add a product ID. Click try it. The result is displayed. If we look back at the request headers, we see the authorization header passed with the call. And that's it, OAuth enabled. We hope you found this video useful. Please check out other videos in this series.